Hello everyone and welcome back to Jim Red Games. Uh, before I get started for this video, I want to just point out that there may be some Final Fantasy XV spoilers and I will be showing gameplay of the episode to Sky demo, so there will be spoilers for that demo as well. Um, which I think a lot of the gameplay for the demo is actually in the base game of Final Fantasy XV. So like I said, uh, if you're afraid of spoilers, you may not want to watch this video. I also discuss some details of Final Fantasy XV itself. Um, so again, like I said, if you don't like spoilers, then you may not want to watch this video. For this video, I want to discuss the news that Final Fantasy XV has been delayed yet again. Uh, it has been in development now for around 10 years, and it's finally going to be released, but there will be yet another delay to the game's launch. Um, so obviously, you know, this is awful news. I mean, it's been delayed for so long now, and I just wanted to play the game, but we have to wait two more months. But I do think that the delay is a blessing in disguise, if you will. The director of the game, Tabata-san, I probably just butchered his name, I'm not fluent in Japanese, so I apologize, um, but he shared that this delay is going to be a good thing for the game, uh, because this will allow for the game to be polished up and have a few finishing touches added to the final release. Some of these changes will be taking out the bugs in the game, as well as optimizing the game itself. The first month of the delay should focus on establishing a technical base for the game, while the second month should be used to clean everything up. The creators of the game also want to use this time to balance out the game so that all players can enjoy the game and its different features. This will also allow for players to not have to download a day one patch at release. Uh, there was supposedly going to be a large day one patch, but it was removed in favor of the delay. Tabata-san found out that there were players who played offline, and he was glad that he postponed the game for that reason at least. Players will be able to pick up and play the finished game without bugs or problems, and this will also allow offline players to be able to enjoy the finished game without having to fix the game right off the bat. Of course, there may still be problems in the game, but I do feel confident that the game will be released without any major problems at launch. Now, for the DLC details, uh, there are six different DLC releases inside of the season pass, which by the way should go for around 30 US dollars. Uh, the main thing to mention with the DLC is that it is still in the early development stages, so I would assume that a lot of the planning is almost finished, uh, but I do not think that the individual DLC parts have been developed entirely yet or are even playable. Uh, one major aspect of the DLC being released in the Season Pass is that players will get the chance to play as the three different party members in three different sets of, uh, of the DLC. Um, so the three different party members are Gladiolus, is that how you say that? They always call them Gladio, I'll just call them Gladio. Uh, Gladio, Ignis, and Prompto. So each member will be playable in three of the six DLC parts. For Gladio, his DLC episode should focus more on all-out action elements. Uh, Tabata's son pointed out that Final Fantasy is usually all about leveling up until you are a higher level than your opponent. Then you can defeat that opponent. But for this DLC, it leans more toward an action game and is more about how technical you can play the game. Uh, it's not supposed to be more difficult or more involving, but instead it is to give players the chance to play as the characters in their own formats. So as I stated, Gladio will focus more on action combat, um, but for Prompto, the developers want to focus more on gun combat. Prompto is the only character to use a gun in the party. Uh, now, I wonder if this will play out similar to a third-person shooter. Um, it'd be cool to see. Uh, Tabata-san said that the gameplay will be tweaked slightly for Pronto's playstyle, so I'm not sure what slightly means exactly, but I doubt that an entire third-person shooting system would be added to the game, but it would be interesting to see. Um, and another you know, reason why it may actually be in the game, um, and something that's kind of interesting to consider, is that there actually were shooting mechanics in Versus 13. So the team behind Final Fantasy XV may still have access to these assets, but hopefully they'll be updated a bit. Um, now if you're not familiar with Versus 13, it was the original version of Final Fantasy XV and was named Versus 13 back when Final Fantasy XIII and its sequels were being released. Um, and obviously this was before Final Fantasy XIV was released. Because obviously, you know, the game's been out for 10 years, so they've released a ton of games <laughs> in the meantime. Um, but anyway, in gameplay trailers for the game, you could actually play as the other party members, and when you played as Prompto, it allowed you to fire a pistol from the third-person perspective. It seemed like there was a shooting mechanic in play for the base game of Versus 13, but it did appear to be a bit clunky. Um, you could actually, you know, move the gun around and, and aim and fire at different targets. So if a third-person shooting mechanic is indeed added, hopefully it can be polished and feel closer to a more uh, modern shooter. You know, hopefully it'll feel more recent, more updated, and more smooth. Like I said, I feel like it just looked really um, clunky. So hopefully if they actually have a shooting mechanic, it'll feel really good. This, of course, leaves Ignis, the last of the three party members. For Ignis' DLC episode, as I think they're being called, um, I think they're being called episodes, uh, Tabata-san said that the gameplay 
uh, for Iggy will focus more on tactical abilities. Uh, Ignis is known for being the more collected and thoughtful member of the group, and it makes sense for his gameplay to reflect his personality, just like I hope Prompto's is pretty spunky and maybe even a bit crazy. Also, one thing I want to mention is that this DLC reminds me of the anime series for Final Fantasy XV, especially if each part of the three character DLC releases are being called episodes. If you want to watch the anime, by the way, you can actually watch it on YouTube if you go to the Final Fantasy XV YouTube page. This isn't a sponsor or anything, by the way, guys. Um, I just, I, I really like the anime series, so I want to share it with you guys. Um, but I'll try to include a link to their page in the description, but if I don't, you know, just look for Final Fantasy XV. Um, but there are four different episodes so far, and the last three show the beginnings of the three party members. So I feel that maybe the DLC will be similar to this, but instead of showing their beginnings, it'll take place in the current setting of the game as they go on new and interesting adventures. Besides playable characters, there are also going to be three additional DLC releases. Uh, these DLC objects have certain titles, but as far as I can see, do not have any additional information about what they are exactly. The first of the three is a booster pack, which I would assume that this DLC may come with different ingredients for cooking or different components to upgrade weapons or maybe even new weapons in general. Um, I think most games approach booster packs like this. I know that Far Cry Primal came with extra ingredients and weapons if you bought the deluxe edition of the game. So I would assume that this is going to be the case here as well, where you, know, you get something that will help you out in the game a little bit, but nothing significant I would assume. The second of these three DLC items is called the Holiday Pack. Again, not really sure what this is exactly since we don't really have any details, but I would assume the holiday would be Christmas, um, so maybe there will be you know, winter gear, maybe a snow-filled area to travel to. Uh, it seems that most of the locations shown for the game are mainly you know, desert, city, tropical, and for uh, forest locations. Uh, maybe this will add some winter flair to the game, or maybe this will cover a fake holiday that takes place inside of the Final Fantasy XV universe. Uh, either way, I'm excited to see what this release is going to entail. And finally, the third DLC content is simply called Expansion Pack. This may not be the final name as the Xbox Store states that these titles are working titles. Uh, we may see a change in name for all six of these DLC parts, but I'm not sure what this part will be exactly. Um, I hope that this pack will be full of story-based content. Uh, other games such as Mass Effect and The Witcher series have released expansion packs which add countless hours of gameplay to the original game. Uh, these packs usually have new stories and quests to take part of as well. Uh, since the season pass does not seem to be that expensive, however, I would assume that this won't be anything major. But who says that I can't dream big, though? So that is it for this video. Let me know what you think about the delay. I mean, are you okay with it? Do you understand why they do it? You know, are you sympathetic toward the developers? <laughs> or is, you know, just another delay just too much and you're giving up on the game? Uh, either way, I understand, but, it, you know, it bothers me that we have to wait even longer, but I really think that it'll be for the best. Um, I really want Final Fantasy XV to be an amazing game, and if this delay can help it be better, then I'm all for it. Also, let me know your thoughts on the DLC and whether or not you plan on purchasing it. Um, I'm really looking forward to the DLC, but I'm afraid that there won't be too much substantial content in the DLC. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it. And if you want to be notified of when I release more videos, then make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will know when my latest videos are being released. Um, also, if you want to see me play through episode to Sky, as you um, have been seeing gameplay of that during this video, then make sure to turn on annotations and click on the different video links that you've been seeing throughout the video, then you can go see those parts. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye guys.